Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today let me take you through a lesson, Should Bizarre Hit Mommy by John Updike. So here the characters are Jack, father of Joe and Bobby. Jack, being the father, he narrated stories uh, for two years. That is, uh, when Joe was just two years old, he started his narration and now she is four years old. And this routine task has been continuing since she was two years old up till now. And every Saturday he narrated stories and that too usually uh, the stories had characters like fish, squirrel, chipmunk, skunk and uh, with the name Roger. These creatures, they had some problems. So with the problem, they would meet wise old owl wherein it would be directed to wizard. And his stories were full of own humiliation. He loved to imitate old man's voice. He enjoyed the art of storytelling. The next character here is Claire, who is uh, six months pregnant and she was painting the woodwork downstairs. And then Bobby, who is two years old here. And then Joe, who is four years old and she was pretty stubborn. She questioned her father and she got angry for the sad ending of the story. And here Owl, Owl who directed the creature uh, to the wizard's house here. And wizard who asked seven pennies and he asked the creature to go to the end of the lane, turn around three times and look down the magic well and ask them to get three more pennies. Then the next character is Roger Skunk. Roger Skunk smelled very bad. It wanted to change its smell to roses. Uh, its mom felt it to be awful. So... Its mom hit wizard with an umbrella. And finally, that Roger skunk got the same smell. Skunk here. This little skunk smelled really very bad. No creature wanted to play with him. Then finally, one fine day what happened? Skunk went and met wizard. So with the magical spell, um, the wizard changed it with roses that is changed its smell with roses actually that was a distinct feature emanating very bad odor was its distinct feature and finally this little skunk roger skunk understood the worth of originality and individuality mommy skunk here told never to forget his distinct identity so this is what the lesson is all about this lesson has been put up in a nutshell here so let me take you through the ppt now wait for a while the ppt is on the way for you yes here is the ppt okay here it is for you okay so should Wizard Hit Mommy by John Updike. He is the author. John Updike. John Hoyer Updike was an American novelist, poet, short story writer, an art and literary critic. His most famous work is his Rabbit series. His fiction is focused on the concerns, passions, and sufferings of the average American. He is considered as one of the greatest American writers of his time. Look at this picture. Look at this little skunk emanating bad odor and immediately the woodland creatures run away from him. So he couldn't have any friends at all. But this is its unique identity. This is its unique or originality we could say. Moral of the story. The story raises a moral issue. Should parents always decide what the children should do or let the children do what they like to do? There is an evident contrast between an adult's perspective on life and the worldview of a little child. The story Should Wizard Hit Mommy addresses important moral issues. 
it deals with the idea that parents know what is best for their children because parents love their children the most. One should not look for instant solutions to the problems in life. One should wait patiently for acceptance from friends. So here is the story. Father tells a story to Joe, his daughter. Father tells stories to his daughter Joe in the evenings and for Saturday naps. So this story started when she was just two years old. Now she is four. Each story with a slight variation that starts with Roger. Roger fish, Roger squirrel, Roger chipmunk. Roger visits a wise owl with his problems. The owl tells him to go to the wizard. The wizard performs a magical spell to solve the problem and asks for a fee. Roger does not have sufficient money. Wizard directs the animal to a place where the extra pennies could be found. Roger finds the money, pays the fee to the wizard and goes back home. Roger's daddy returns home from Boston and they have their supper. Roger's skunk story. He smells very bad. He wishes to play with his friends. No woodland creature plays with him. He feels hurt and humiliated. Father's digression now. While telling the story of Roger's skunk, he thinks of his wife Claire, who's painting the living room woodwork. He wants to help his wife but fails to do so as Joe keeps him busy. Roger Skunk meets the wise owl. Skunk goes to meet the wise owl. Skunk tells his problem to the wise owl. The wise owl directs him to go through the dark woods and meet the wizard. Joe's query now. Joe asks, are magic spells real? Father tells her that they are real in stories. Roger Skunk meets the wizard. Roger Skunk meets the wizard who is a tiny little old man with a long white beard and a pointed blue hat. Wizard tells Skunk that his smell is awful. Asks him not to get too close to him. Skunk wishes to smell like roses. Wizard chants a magic rhyme. Now Skunk smells like roses. Wizard demands seven pennies as his fee. Skunk says that he has only four pennies. The wizard tells him where to find three pennies. Skunk reaches the magic well and finds the required pennies. Upon paying, he runs into the woods. All the little animals gather around him. Skunk in the company of woodland creatures. Woodland creatures play games like baseball, football, etc. with him. Skunk goes back to home. Mother finds the smell awful, gets angry and scolds Skunk. Skunk and his mommy go to meet the wizard. Skunk's mommy hits the wizard on the head with her umbrella. Wizard agrees to change the odor. Changes the smell and Skunk smells bad once again. Joe and father argue with each other. Joe wants the wizard to hit back Skunk's mommy. The father disagrees with his daughter tells her that it is dad's story. Father defends the action of Skunk's mommy, but Joe is not convinced. Father does not like interruptions. Roger Skunk and mommy return home. Both wait for daddy Skunk's return from Boston. All the three take hearty meal. Mommy hugs Skunk and says that he smells like her little baby skunk again, likes his smell and loves him very much. Woodland animals and skunk. Skunk plays with other animals. They no longer run away from him. 
They have got used to the way he is and do not mind his bad smell. Joe's problem with her father. Joe does not like Wizard's defeat. Wants Wizard to hit back Skunk's mommy. Father tells her that mothers are always right. Wants her to put her heavy head in the pillow and sleep. Father caught in an unpleasant situation. Father goes downstairs. Claire, his wife, was painting scattered furniture. Joe, not asleep, father threatens to spank her. Claire complains that he took long time to come downstairs. Gets into a thoughtful mood. Feels that he and his wife are trapped in a cage does not want to speak to her, work with her and touch her. He feels that he is caught in an ugly middle position. Thank you children. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Please do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.